Tutorial DK014 Chapter 2 Atom, Molecules and Ions Unit 2.1 Proton Number Nucleon Number and Isotop Learning Outcomes Hasil Pembelajaran First, describe proton, electron and neutron as subatomic particles Second, define proton number Z, nucleon number A and isotop Third, write isotop notation okay, Jadi pertama, pelajar perlu tahu menerangkan tentang zarah-zarah subatom iaitu proton, elektron dan neutron Yang kedua, pelajar perlu tahu definisi untuk proton number, nucleon number dan isotop Ketiga, pelajar perlu tahu cara untuk menulis isotop notation Atom around us, atom di sekeliling kita We, the human, are made up of different types of atoms. Kita, manusia, terdiri daripada pelbagai jenis atoms. Contohnya, atom hidrogen, carbon, oksigen, nitrogen, calcium dan phosphorus. Small parts combine to form larger structures. Atom adalah antara bahagian-bahagian kecil yang bergabung untuk membentuk struktur yang lebih besar. Contohnya, atom hidrogen bergabung dengan atom oksigen membentuk molekul H2O air. Molekul H2O dalam jumlah yang banyak pula akan membentuk titisan-titisan air. Dan titisan-titisan air yang banyak dalam bentuk wak pula akan membentuk sekumpulan awan. Subatomic particles, zarah-zarah subatom. This is the model of atom. At the center of atom is nucleus. Nucleus consists of protons and neutrons. Orbit. Orbit is the pathway of electron. Electron. Electron is subatomic particle that moves around the nucleus of atom. Ini adalah model atom. Di tengah-tengah atom adalah nucleus. Nucleus terdiri daripada proton dan neutron. Orbit pula adalah laluan untuk elektron. Elektron pula adalah zarah sub atom yang bergerak mengelilingi nukleus dalam suatu atom. Next is about the charge of each subatomic particles. Inside the nucleus of atom are proton and neutrons. Proton has positive charge, neutron zero charge or in other word neutral. Elektron has negative charge. Okey, berkaitan dengan uh, charge untuk setiap zarah-zarah subatom, dalam nukleus atom yang terdiri daripada proton dan neutron, proton bercas positif, neutron neutral ataupun bercas kosong, manakala elektron bercas negatif. Question 1. There are three subatomic particles of an atom. Complete the following table. The three subatomic particles are electron, proton and neutron. First, we start with the mass in gram. The mass of electron is 9.1 10 power of negative 28. The mass of proton is 1.67 times 10 power of negative 24. The mass of neutron is 1.67 times 10 power of negative 24. From these values, we can see that The mass of proton is equal to the mass of neutron and the electron is the lightest among these three subatomic particles. Okay, dari segi jisim gram, kita dapati jisim proton sama dengan jisim neutron. Manakala elektron adalah zarah subatom yang paling ringan. Next is charge in column. The charge of electron is negative 1.6 times 10 power of negative 19. The charge of proton is positive 1.6 times 10 power of negative 19. And neutron, 0. As we can see here, electron and proton have same value but differ in charge. Okay, so the electron has negative charge, proton positive charge and neutron no charge or in other word neutral ok daripada nilai charge column yang diberikan kita dapati nilai untuk elektron dan proton sama yang berbeza hanyalah dari segi charge elektron bercas negatif proton bercas positif manakala neutron 
neutral ataupun charge zero. Next is charge. The unit for electron is negative one. The unit for proton is positive one, and for neutron is zero. Isotopes. Example of isotopes are isotopes of hydrogen. They are hydrogen, deuterium, and tritium. These three atoms are from the same element, which is hydrogen. All of them have same proton number, but different nuclear number. In other words, these three atoms of same element have same number of proton, but different number of neutron. Contoh isotops adalah isotop hidrogen seperti hidrogen, deuterium dan tritium. Ketiga-tiga atom tersebut merupakan unsur yang sama dengan proton nombor yang sama tetapi nuklear nombor berbeza. Dalam erti kata yang lain, atom-atom tersebut mempunyai persamaan dalam bilangan proton dan perbezaan dalam bilangan neutron. Question 2. Define isotopes proton number Z and nuclear number A. A. Isotopes are two or more atoms of same element with same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Isotopes adalah dua atau lebih atoms yang terdiri daripada unsur yang sama dengan bilangan proton yang sama tetapi bilangan neutron yang berbeza. B. Proton number is the number of protons in the nucleus of atom of an element. Proton number adalah bilangan proton yang berada di dalam nukleus suatu atom bagi suatu element. C. Nuclear number is the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of each atom of an element. Nuclear number adalah jumlah keseluruhan proton dan neutron yang berada di dalam nukleus suatu atom bagi suatu unsur. Isotop notation and ions. This is isotop notation. X represent element symbol. Z represent proton number. A represent nucleon number. How to find nuclear number? The formula is number of proton plus number of neutron. Jadi ini adalah isotop notation. X mewakili simbol unsur, Z mewakili proton number, A mewakili nukleon number. Macam mana kita nak kira nukleon number? Senang saja. Tambah sahaja bilangan proton dan bilangan neutron. Next is about formation of cation and ion. When neutral atom lose electron, it will form cation or known as positive ion. When neutral atom accept electron, it will form an ion or known as negative ion. Seterusnya adalah pembentukan ion-ion. Apabila atom yang neutral Kehilangan elektron, ia akan membentuk ion yang bercas positif atau dikenali sebagai kat ion. Manakala apabila atom yang neutral menerima elektron, ia akan membentuk ion yang bercas negatif yang dikenali sebagai n ion. Question 3. Write the isotope notation for each of the following species. Tuliskan isotop notation untuk setiap species yang diberikan. Okay, given number of protons, neutrons and electrons. We start with species P. Proton number 4P refer to the number of proton which is 1 and nuclear number proton plus neutron 1 plus 0 equals to 1. Q. Okay, Q proton number equal to 79 and nuclear number proton plus neutron equal to 196. Next is R. R proton number 17 and nuclear number proton plus neutron equal to 37. 
Next is S. Proton number refer to number of proton equal 34. Nuclear number proton plus neutron equal 79. Okay, now for S, we can see here the number of electrons not same with number of protons. S has more number of electrons compared to the number of protons. Since since S has more number of electrons, it is an ion or negative ion. And S has extra two electron, so the charge is two negative. The last one is T. Proton number refer to number of proton 13. Nuclear number proton plus neutron equal 27. And T also is ion. Why? Because the number of protons and number of electrons are different. As we can see here, the number of electrons are less than number of proton. Since T has less number of electrons, so it is cation or positive ion. Less three electron, so the charge is three positive. Question three a: An element X with a nuclear number of sixty-five has thirty-five neutrons in the nucleus. The ion formed by this element has twenty-eight electrons. Write the isotopic notation of first atom X, second ion X. We start with atom X. The symbol is X. Proton number we don't know, but nuclear number already given sixty five. So how to find proton number? We can find it from the formula of nuclear number. Since we are given the value for nuclear number and number of neutron, so the number of proton is thirty. Next is ion X. Ion X has twenty eight electrons. It means that ion X has less two electron compared to the atom X. So ion X is cation or positive ion with the charge two positive. Question three B. An element Y has a nuclear number of one hundred and twenty-seven and seventy-four neutrons in the nucleus. The ion derived from this element has fifty-four electrons. First, write the symbol of atom Y. Second, write the symbol of ion Y. First, atom Y. The symbol is Y. Proton number we don't know. Nuclear number already given one hundred and twenty-seven. We can find the proton number or number of proton from the formula of nucleon number. Since you are given the value of nucleon number and the value of number of neutron, so the number of proton is fifty-three. Next is symbol of ion Y. Ion Y has fifty-four electrons. It means that ion Y has extra one electron compared to the atom Y. Ion X is an ion or negative ion with the charge of negative one. Question four. Use the periodic table to complete the following table. We start with element B. From the isotope notation of B, the number of proton is five. Next is number of electron. Since B is neutral atom, so the number of electron is equal to the number of proton, which is five. Next, number of neutron. We can find number of neutron from the formula of nuclear number. So to find number of neutron, eleven minus five equal to six. The net charge is. Zero. Next, the second element has number of proton twenty six and net charge positive two. It means that the second element has lack of two electron. So the number of electron 
for this second element is 24 it means that the second element is positive ion next is nuclear number so we can find the nuclear number from its formula number of proton plus number of neutron 26 plus 30 equal 56 next is isotope notation so the number of proton given 26 proton number 26 belongs to iron so this is the isotope notation of iron 26 with nuclear number 56 since the second element is positive ion so the charge would be too positive next the third element has electron 18 with the net charge negative 3 it means that the third element are negative ion since the third element has extra 3 electron it means that 18 minus 3 equal to 15 so the number of proton is 15 number of neutron we can find from formula of nuclear number 31 minus 15 equal 16 so the isotope notation is proton number 15 belongs to phosphorus so now phosphorus is negative ion with extra 3 electrons so the charge would be 3 minus the last one the last element has number of proton 86, number of electron 86. So means that the last element is neutral atom because it has same number of proton and electron. Next, number of neutron we can find from the formula of nuclear number 222 minus 86. So we get 136. The next charge is zero proton number 86 belongs to radon so this is the isotope notation of radon okay settle and off slide thank you